Do you miss the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell? So do we. There's rumors that it may be coming back soon. Did we beat Taco Bell to the punch? You bet. You want to see our take on these delicious Mexican pizzas? And stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the cooks that we do here on the Blackstone Griddle, especially for all the times that I might almost be tripping over my words like I just was doing right now. Oh, I didn't even catch it. See, I know, that's why I'm smiling and that's why I got it out. With nothing but the best for you guys. We make sure that we get our words right. That's right. He doesn't always. Hardly ever, and I get paid to talk. <laughs> He's a radio DJ. I've never seen somebody trip over the word so much. I'm just kidding, but we are excited to do this one. My wife used to work at Taco Bell as a teenager, and she told me that the Mexican pizza was one of her absolute favorites, and I know this one went off the menu at Taco Bell. But I did recently see a report that said they may be bringing it back, even if for a limited time. But we thought, you know what? Time for the Wall Twins to throw down our take on the Mexican pizza. But Brett, let's get to the groceries. What are we talking about on this one? Oh, here we go. We're starting with the 80-20 uh, beef that we have right here. We have a pound. We're going to be putting them on these flour tortillas, which is what you make the Mexican pizza with. And then we have this pizza sauce, which is an enchilada-based sauce. We're going to be using cheese, tomatoes, and we're going to be uh, heating up these refried beans to be putting on in between the two with the meat. That's right. Now, one thing we are doing while Brett's getting the beans ready, these tortillas, we're actually going to be laying some oil down, and I will be frying these up tostada style. So they're flour tortillas, not corn tortillas. These are going to be amazing, and we can't wait to do that. But let's go ahead and let's get going to the cook. Brett's already going. He's not waiting for us. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so this has been on for about five to seven minutes right now. And uh, so you get a little wisp of white smoke. These are on medium low. And we always say medium low is about where we cook most of our dishes. This griddle gets really hot. We're gonna be push pushing almost 400 degrees there. Medium low is about 35 after the hour. If you think of a clock from this, from the dial being down, it comes up to about just about five about degrees is all to seven. Brett has the beans going over there. Same thing, medium low. I'm just gonna I toss these on, on the here. Eight. What, 40, after <laughs> 40 after the hour. All right, so there's the ground beef. See, that's what I was going for. <laughs> and turn this down. Yeah, that is. This, this is already, already cooking really, really hot, and all I'm doing is browning the beef. And then as soon as the beef is brown, we're gonna toss our seasoning on. Then we're gonna pull the meat off because it's gonna be all done. And we're just gonna build those uh, the quesadillas. I say quesadillas, the tortillas. Get those cooked, and then we're gonna move on. We love doing these Taco Bell copycats. In fact, if you watch enough of our of our channel, you un start to understand there's nothing we don't love to cook. We love all of these cooks. Oh, yeah. We've done probably more copycat Taco Bell items than any other takeout and, place. Uh, the thing is, is we, a, we love the Blackstone. We love cooking on it. And we love having a, a, a YouTube channel, a cooking show, because it gives us a great excuse to have to cook on the Blackstone yet again. And yet, Absolutely. here we are. Right. And I will say this, with the Taco Bell, the reason why we do so many of these cooks is because we love cooking things that have a high success rate. Smash burgers, high success rate. Asian cooks, high success, high success rate. rate. Even our other Mexican- Fish cooks, not so much, but we're working on it. <laughs> our other Mexican dishes, amazing. But these, these uh, Taco Bell copycats have always turned out so well, so good. And sorry Taco Bell, but better than the real thing. Oh snap. Brent says better than the real thing, but to be fair, we are using your <laughs> so. <laughs> our secret ingredients. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> Our secret ingredient is the Taco Bell seasoning. <laughs> all right, bro, go ahead and toss it in. This is just about all brown. The Wall Twins Taco Bell seasoning. <laughs> the Wal secret Wall Twins Taco Bell <laughs> totally seasoning. Totally called me out, dude. <laughs> You're You're better way than better than Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> we had to use the secret sauce. Yeah. Oh, our secret seasoning, which is the Taco Bell Well, seasoning. to be honest, well, we did all the crunch wraps and freeze for 4th of oh, July. Oh, dude, those what were the did, best. What did the whole family say? They were the best thing they ever had. Better and than Taco Bell. Better than Taco Bell. That's, that's the only point I'm trying to make. And, and Taco Bell, we're not dissing you at all. We love Taco Bell. Yes, and thank that's you for watching. That's why we have so many Taco thank Bell for, copycats. Thank you for watching Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. Here's the best part about this cook. This, uh, the ground beef, just about done. Brett just needs to put the cheese in there. That's oh, yeah, gonna take that. about, that's good, that's perfect. That's gonna take about a minute to melt in there, and then we're good. The only thing left is to get our tortillas ready. 
clear spot for my ground beef because this is ready. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off the heat. All right, so I'm going to turn this down to lower heat, lay our oil here. Now, what we're going to do is use a little griddle right, fry. So we've got our tortillas here. See that sizzle. Mm. Do you want to turn it higher for a... Oh my fry? gosh, I turned these low. <laughs> All right, so the next step in this, we're just getting this last one done and then is to just, well, build it. And then we're gonna dome it a little bit to melt the cheese. That's right. But otherwise, that's it. Brett, let's go ahead and let's get ready to film this. Ooh, GBD. That is perfect. GBD, let's GBD, go ahead baby. and build this. GBD. Well, there it is, Brett. I'm super excited Me about this too. one. I will say that uh, we we went ahead and threw back on the on the on the on the <laughs> black stone rack, yep. underneath on the cooling rack, right, to steam it up so we could melt the cheese a little bit. It made it a little soggy, but it's okay. It still got a little bit crisp. Yeah, it does. But it, it's giving it time to cool down just a little bit. Oh, Brett, boy. like we say, it can look amazing. This looks perfect. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like we say, it can smell amazing. Dude, this smells. It smells like taco. It does smell like taco. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for not. not. Cheers. I'll lead to that, my brother. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's the Mexican pizza, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That is. You got melted so, cheese. Dude, the beans. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The beans and the meat. And like you were talking about maybe sour cream and then you're like, no, let's mm -hmm. keep let's keep it with the traditional pizza and wow, this is We could is... have done a Mexican pizza supreme. And that <laughs> sauce the, the mm. sauce right. is good too. I honestly want to put some Taco Bell mild sauce oh, on I, here. Mm -hmm. If I was ordering this at Taco Bell, mm -hmm. I would have some Taco Bell mild sauce. Mm -hmm. It's Taco Bell though. It's a Taco Bell cooked Mexican pizza. You betcha. This is That is good. Oh my gosh. Well, just like we loved, loved. And uh, apparently are gonna love again at Taco Bell. Actually, we, we, we can compare it out. Absolutely. And I can't wait to share this with my wife. I wanna get her opinion, see how she feels it is. See if we did a good enough And I think there was a little bit of a difference. First of all, she made the enchilada sauce. Yes, we did. This and is a homemade enchilada. It's a homemade pizza sauce, a Mexican pizza sauce. And secondly, we did the refried beans a little differently. Right, they, absolutely. There's no reason yep. just as a bean. We right. put butter and cheese in ours. Right, anytime I do beans, this is how I do it. We absolutely love it. Put a uh, stick of butter in with the can of beans. 
and that, then cheese. That was the first taste of greatness that I got was the beans in it's this. It's so good. And it, uh, the flavors all, of course, go so well together. I want to keep eating this, but I promised myself <laughs> this time I was going to have my one little slice and then move on. Share this with the family and get their take. Exactly. Brett, we love coming to do these cooks. We absolutely But do. we got to say, have you given this a thumbs up yet? Give this a like. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. Also, if you're looking for other ways to support the Wall Twins, if you check in the description below, we do have a link to our merchandise store where you can get a lot of the goodies that we have. Some of our aprons, our Griddle Me This Fat Man shirts, and now these moisture wicking. Yep, or uh, Rye Fit shirts, if you will. Yes, exactly. That are so comfortable that we absolutely love. And our Griddle On gear. Now, Brett, we do also have a Patreon page. Yeah, we do. In fact, we want to do a shout out to our Griddle Entourage. That's what we call our Patreons. We love you guys so much. And in fact, their names are all scrolling as we speak. And all that information, if you want to check that out, is below as well. Right, to become a Patreon, check in the description below as well. But Brett, aside from coming to make this another amazing and copycat uh, Taco Bell item, this Mexican pizza, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on.